guys, finally sleeps here. Everyone has been asking for a new video on making coins in the market. Because I've been laying this out almost every week in the live streams, I've not really seen a need for it, but apparently not everyone watches the streams and it's high time I address this for the full community of FIFA Mobile players. Right now, making a million coins a day is not only possible, it's downright easy with this method. It's not a quick turnaround, it's not really farming, but it does generate massive amounts of coins. First though, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications here at YouTube. Also, check out finallyhesleeps.com for all things FIFA Mobile. A few quick shout outs to our newest team members at the site because I haven't had the chance to thank everyone in a while. Kuba, Leon, Jacob, Jethro, Nick, Thomas, Carson, and Gooner Daddy. Gooner Daddy, which is one I just like saying. Thanks for joining the site and being part of the team. Big shout out to longtime member Thomas Bothold and John Callahan, who I've probably ran into at a Columbus Crew game or two, and new member Marty Legault. Uh, if I've screwed up the pronunciations of your name, sorry. Uh, thanks for all your support, guys. I appreciate everyone who uh, hangs out at the site and posts in the community and comments on everything and what we're doing. It's a lot of new faces at the site. I truly appreciate all that support. Now, back to the market. Uh, as you can see, I've got 513 uh, dismissed or won items in the inbox now. Uh, we'll get to that. As you can see, these guys are mostly in alphabetical order. These are all of the dismissed parking lot players I have. We'll come back to that. Okay, well, we got 845 players. Uh, so you have a max of 1200, but usually at about 1150, that's when the market starts uh, giving you a warning that you have too many players, you need to get rid of some people. So we've got plenty of room. For now, I wanna start with the searches that I use to generate my players. Okay, first search, we're gonna do 69 and up and we're gonna set our max buy now of 800 coins. I don't choose leagues, I don't choose positions, nothing, just 69 or higher, max it at 800 coins. Uh, silver's here, I'm gonna buy everybody that's available as long as it's somebody I don't already have 15, 20 of. Uh, some days when you come in here and you look, there won't be very many silvers in this 800 coin range, some days there are a ton. Right now it looks like there's quite a few. Uh, we're gonna buy everyone that's available. Some of these golds, uh, the 70, 71, 72 range, if we can get them at 800, we'll grab them. They're not all going to be purchasable, as you can tell. A lot of these, um, some of them are, but a lot of these are showing that the bid's going to fail, which is fine. And if I get a lot of these uh, bid failing, uh, I'll either skip over them or I'll adjust my search to just do 69s. But for right now, uh, because I unloaded a ton of silvers and golds during the market crash on December 25th, I need to replenish some of my stock. Because you can only hold 1,200 and you wanna keep your number between 1,100 and 1,150 so that the warning label doesn't pop up every time you log in, um, I like to keep between 1,500 and 2,000 car uh, reserves. Um, and the only way I do that is I keep them either listed in the market on 24-hour cycles or dismissed in my inbox. Before I started doing live streams, at any time, my inbox you, used to say 500 to 2,000 messages, and it was usually dismissed players. That's what I call the parking lot. But now that I've been streaming weekly and uh, accepting friend requests and stuff that we're doing now in the new season, I don't have to scroll down through 1,000 players to get to important messages, uh, especially during the streams, uh, to do match requests and stuff. So I have to keep on top of this, dismiss them every couple of days, set them on a 24-hour schedule. Before the streams start, I usually try to dump out all my dismissed cards just so it doesn't get in the way. But if any given time you can look over and see my dismissed box, usually has somewhere between 300 and 1,000 messages. So again, we're just grabbing any of these silvers. These are all 69 rated silvers. I don't care who it is. I don't care about their 
uh, position. I don't care about their formation, uh, not formation, their uh, league, their nationality. This is all about bulk buying in that range. I'm just looking for anyone 69 rated, 80, 800 coins or less. Some of these 640, you can get down to 700, 600, 540. You're only basing it off that 800 coin number, and the reason being is you need a base point in your investment of coins to be able to do these. Now these golds that I'm picking up in this 600 to 800 range, these are just icing on top of the cake. I'm not gonna worry about that price. Now we'll get into that in a minute when I start buying golds. But silvers, 69 rated, I keep it at 800. Golds, uh, we'll just say it. Golds, I usually buy up to 1200 coins. That's twofold. You can either use those as XP investments. There's videos where I talk about how you use golds for XP because it's much cheaper and easier than using the actual XP. You should always use your XP for your keeper. Uh, I don't always do it. Sometimes I really want to train someone for whatever reason and I'll throw the XP into a regular player. But because the goalies are so hard to buy players to train, the easiest way to do it is to take all of your XP and put it all directly into the keeper. Okay, so it looks like we've ran the course for 69s. I've gotten rid of all the gold so that we're only looking at 69 rated, and that's the lot. We've bought everybody. So now, for gold 70 and up, I'll usually set my price at 1200 coins. Today, though, since there were so many golds popping up in the 800 range, this is going to look crazy. Yeah, there's. it looks like the gold market is really low right now. 70, 71, 72s. There you go. Uh, under 1,200 is going to be pretty easy to pick them up. So we'll see what's available. Then we'll adjust this and go a little higher. So there's a 72. Let's, let's go higher than 70, and we'll bump that up to 72 at 1,200 and see what pops up. Sometimes you can go as high as 74 and pick up golds for under 1,200. 73 uh, was was doing on uh, late on the 25th. You would get 73s and 74s for 1,000 to 1,200 coins. But you set that number in your head, 800 for 69s, 1,200 for golds. It doesn't matter that you've bought some for 600, some for 800, some for 1,000. Just remember 800 and 1,200, those are the numbers. Okay, so there's not a whole lot of golds here and they're starting to fail out. But for the point of this video, we'll just grab these last few. Okay, another failed bid. Oh, there's more. Okay, we started this video at like a little over 3.1 million coins. I'm just curious to see where this goes. Now again, there's 500 players in my dismiss and I think a couple hundred of those are probably players I can claim which we'll do at the end of this video and just see that's that's everything I've sold over the last 24 hours which is another thing I usually keep my claimed players in the dismiss box for a while just so I can claim it all at once uh, you don't notice much when you're selling silvers at Let's say you're selling them at, okay, so here, I just wanted to go back just to see. We had bought all of the 69 rated silvers, what, two minutes ago? And now it looks like the bot has released a whole bunch more 69s. So we're going to go ahead and grab all these just because I want to replenish my numbers. I'd like to have at least 1,500 69 rated silvers uh, and 70 to 74 rated golds before the next market crash, which we're anticipating will be on New Year's. And then if not New Year's, January 5th or soon after, once the La Liga Rivals players become auctionable. So we'll grab all these, see how many are there. Okay, so I usually keep all my dismissed players. Um, so here we go, 932. I've still got room for a couple more hundred which that's the number I'm looking at. 932 gives me plenty of room to grab those dismissed players. I think I may have more than 200 though, so we'll see how many we can go and just start dismissing. 
Okay, before we do that, let's start with the gold, and I'm going to show you how we sell these. Now, as you can see, I, I just set the search at 78. I only have one 78 rated, and that's Fisher. If I can sell them for 13, I'll do it. Okay, so here's all the rest of my golds. Uh, now all we're going to do is throw them in, check the suggested price, and if it's at an, a range where I can successfully double my investment, that's what I'm always looking for, a doubling of my investment. Now, I don't have any more than 1200 in any single gold player. I know that. A lot of these are cheaper than 1200 but most of them are between a 800 to 1200 range, which you just saw me purchasing these. So if I can see a suggested price 1900 or higher because I have no market tax, uh, which we already talked about hitting VIP 10, Having no market tax, as long as I'm close to doubling, and at 1,900 coins, I feel that my average is a double in profit. Um, that puts me at around uh, 950 on average for any of these golds. There you go, 2,000. So, obviously dumping that card. We just keep rolling through here. This comes down to just manhandling these players and dragging and checking you get really quick at this oop 9800 let's sell him so now what are we 1180 sold 3200 we're up to uh, 14,000 we're just gonna see what these things are are listing at oh there's 14 says so now we're at 233 now not all of these will sell at 1500 I'm not doing it 1900 is my bar. Okay, now we're up over 30,000. There you go, 38,000, we'll say. Another 3,300, so 41,000. And that's if these sell. Now, in your golds, you'll sell at least half of them. So we'll cut whatever number we end up in. We'll cut it in half just to see where this goes. Okay, 2,200 we'll get rid of. So we're up to, what, 48,000. Moving along. Going through the golds is kind of annoying because oh, 50,000 because you have so many and there's not a whole lot of duplicates so it feels like you have to just check every single card the silvers go much quicker so we're we at 55,000 I'm guessing now I'm losing my train of thought I think our average price is about 4,000 for these three to four thousand we skip over those again this is all about having a big reserve pile a variety of players and just checking suggested now elites I don't sell for a suggested I usually bump that number up a little bit okay 14,000 70,000 maybe and stuff's already starting to sell Elites, I'll bump up the suggested price. Uh, and I may do a search just to see where we're at, how close the, the lowest price is. But silvers and golds, I dump it suggested. I don't bother. And you can see I have a couple of locked players in here. What those are are 69 rated silvers that were trained to gold as part of a star past quest at Colback. Uh, you have to train so many silvers to gold each week, that kind of thing. And that's what the whole purpose of those are. Okay, we're into the 70 rated. We're getting close to the gold or to the silver, which is where most of the coin's gonna be made. Oops, Fry must be a trained silver again. Now the reason I still have those is I won't dump those until I'm just about to train a midfield player and I'll recap or recoup. Uh, at least 75% of the coins I used for that quest. I don't like to give money away. 
2,500. So we're up to about 80,000 now, maybe a little higher. I was talking, kind of lost track of what I was selling. We're getting there. See the long staff, which is such a great name. 14,000. Let's let's just guess it at about 100,000 now if they all sold. Um, hopefully about 60 to 80,000 of those will sell, which that's just me running through here one time, maybe 10, 15 minutes checking these players. The big difference between this and farming is with farming last season and all prior seasons, you had to check the prices of all of these players before you posted them which was very time consuming, uh, took a lot of legwork, um, searching 15,000, that's good. We got quite a few of them, hopefully those sell. Not guaranteed that they will, but hopefully at least one or two of them sell. Okay, so now I can see, oh, 12,000, 12,000. So let's just say 160,000. If, if I can sell 80,000 of that, if half of those sell, and I end up with 80,000, uh, I'll be happy. And that was just in the golds, just in this video. Now, if I check that two or three times throughout the day, that 80,000 will become a quarter of a million just in the golds, which is not where my bread and butter is made. Now, if you look at these silvers that are in my dismiss box, they are in alphabetical order, and there's a reason for that. When you post in that direction, uh, you'll see how it works. So we're gonna go back to the beginning. I don't, I bought a lot of players. I'm not quite sure how much I have, how much room I have. So we'll go back to the beginning and we'll um, dismiss all of the A's, maybe the A's and B's, and then we'll start selling, just so you can understand the process. Okay, so before we do that, let's go through and just check some suggested prices. Okay, so you see Age of Pong, they're, they're not putting any value in. I have 913 players. I got room for a couple hundred. We'll just go ahead and dismiss these so that we can go through the A's and B's and make it worth your while so you can see it all at one time. So this is the normal path for me. I'll dismiss Actually, what I would normally do is dismiss every player I could until it locks me out uh, and then start selling it. But for the sake of this video, because I know a lot of you are going to start tuning out at this point because it seems to be monotonous, uh, many of the people viewing are going to go, this is not for me, this requires too much effort to be able to make this many coins this quick. But for those that are sticking around, I'm not going to force you into watching me dismiss all of these right away. We'll dismiss the A's and the B's and then we'll run through the process of selling. But again, normally I would dismiss everyone I could and then start running through. So the normal process is uh, we buy, we buy, 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 silvers and golds. Then I will go through and start checking the selected prices. Uh, for the golds, I'm looking for at least 1,900 coins on 1,200 coin or lower investments. The silvers, because I know I paid no more than 800 coins for any 69 rated silver. Okay, there we are, we'll do with the bees. Um, because I know I didn't pay any more than 800 for a 69 rated silver, my price point is 1,500 coins. If anybody pops up with a 1,500 coin suggested price, I am dumping. That means I know I pretty much doubled my investment. Now we're just going to run through here, and because I've only dismissed the A's and the B's, that's as far as we're going to go. We're just checking for suggested prices, 1,900 coins or higher, or 1,500 coins or higher. Some more selling. All right, we're going to fast forward through a lot of this uh, because it's kind of pointless to see if you're going to see me do the same thing over and over again. Uh, we're just looking for suggest ooh, 6300 uh, 6600 we're gonna just see what we can list and sell and then once I get through all of the bees uh, we'll come back through and start listing and creating the parking lot 
uh, that's the next step. So right now, four hour cycle on anything in the 69 range that's above 1500 coins. Okay, we're coming back to the beginning now. We've went through A's and B's and we're looking to start creating the parking lot. Now how we do this is we set up a 24 hour cycle with a minimum price of 2000 and a buy it now of 9999 Now this is what I call a fishing price because if the bot buys it for 2000 I'm gonna be ecstatic because that's more than doubling my 800 coins max that I paid for any of these. It's gonna clear out my reserves to allow me to buy more. Uh, it also makes it easier to search through so I'm not flipping through 15 edge of pongs. And it also creates a fishing scenario where we've got cards on a 24 hour cycle that if they spike in value higher than 10,000, the bot is gonna buy them. If at any time I see those cards pop up that they've sold and I check the my sold in the claimed list and see that it was going for 9,999, I know that a player spiked I'll go back because I'm leaving a few of each one. So, like, I'm not listing all of these. So, uh, let's see. So, like, Baker. We'll leave three Bakers. That way, if uh, three or four sell at 10,000, then I'll go back and check the existing Bakers that I have, the three that are in there now, plus whatever I buy in the meantime, and I'll post them, I'll throw them up on there at whatever the suggested price is. If I can catch it quick enough, it will be higher than 10,000. If I didn't catch it quick, it'll be less than 10,000, but it'll still be within a range to sell. Think of it as sending out bait to see what the bot is grabbing. And remember the bot cycles, stuff changes minute to minute. 30 minutes from now, stuff that wasn't having that wasn't listing at all, didn't show up a suggested price, may be crazy high in 30 minutes. So again, I'm gonna run through all this and just start claiming, we'll actually go ahead and start claiming some more um, we'll grab all of them, but again, I'm going to fast forward through all this. Uh, there's no sense in you guys having to suffer through all this at this point. You understand the method and we'll come back here in a minute. Okay, we've done sold everybody that we have we've created our parking lot we're going back to the dismissed list and see what we've got these are all stuff that is sold in the last 24 hours a few of them since this video has begun most of it is 69 and 70 range but there are a few elites in there so I'm gonna go ahead and claim the elites first uh, and see where we end up that way we can get a tally of how much we made over the last 24 hours we're at 3 million now. Um, there's a UCL player I don't need anymore, so that's a million. Now we're up to 4 million. We're not gonna we're not gonna include these because this is a different video altogether. Uh, again, another elite. Any of these elites, well, Marco Asensio, I think I claimed him in La Liga Rivals. But the Rosenbergs, those are just elites that I bought for eighty thousand to a hundred thousand that I'm finally able to double my money. So, like, there's some Age of Pongs that sold 24 hours ago in the 4,000 range. I'm going to keep running through here just to see. Again, I'm just getting rid of elites because for the sake of this video, um, damn, Boo is not an elite. Oh, well. There you go. Campbell. Um, there's got to be a few more. There you go, Browns. Those Europa League players were picked up for under 100,000. Now they're selling for 215. That was an easy double profit. See, so we're up to 6.3 million now. Then going. Gotta have a couple more. There's another. There you go, some Coliseum players. Arnautovic. Where are we at? Okay. Is that it? 7.3 million is where we're going to start with the silvers and golds. So this was in the last 24 hours, silvers and golds, and we're just going to claim them. We'll see where we bump out. A lot of players. 
and the total 9.3 million. So 2 million in a 24 hour time period. That's it. So 2 million in a 24 hour time period, just buying silvers and golds, using that method, picking up 69s for 800 coins, picking up golds for 1200 coins. Um, and then you list them on the four hour cycle based on suggested price. You're looking for 1500 coins for silvers. You're looking for 1900 or more for golds. Uh, once you're done running through, you create a parking lot on a bin price of 9,999, starting price 2,000. You run it on a 24 hour cycle. That's your bait price. You're trying to bait the bot into buying. And when he does, then you check suggested price, rerun it again. And during that whole thing's going on, you're buying more silvers, buying more golds. And the ultimate point of this is to get ready for the next crash. Because when the crash does happen, you can make two million in a day seems like nothing. Uh, considering on Christmas, I walked away with a 60 million coin profit between everybody that sold over about an eight to 10 hour time frame. That's it, that's silver farming. So now we'll just watch the market and see what sells and see where we go from there. So as long as you keep watching, I'll keep making videos, keep selling silvers, never discount the cheap players in this market. Uh, check out finallysleeps.com and don't forget weekly podcast. Uh, my wife hates video games. We'll be back after the holiday break. Took this week off. Uh, I'm on vacation, believe it or not. So, okay, I wanted to come back. Um, it's been, you know, just half hour into an hour. Let's take a look and see how long it's been. Uh, I've got stuff that's already selling, but it's not the stuff I listed. These are the parking lot players that we threw in at 9,999. They started to pop up and Elphick was the first. And you can see that we checked him before he was giving us less than 1,500. And now he's showing up uh, with over 10,000. This is why these are one of these moments where this method really starts to cash in. Same way with these. Uh, they started to sell at 10,000. This was a player that less than an hour ago was giving us no suggested price. And now they're really starting to pop up. See, all those sold for 10,000, those Elfix. Uh, and it really hasn't been that long at all. So, I mean, these are still, let's see what else we've got. If there's another card. That must have been one that I actually had listed. So as you can see, these things are starting to sell for 9,000. So it's been an hour since we started the video. These are the ones that we listed that were actual prices that suggested prices popped up. So it's been within an hour the, the market has shifted that far that a player that was giving us 600 coins an hour later is now popping up for a 15,000 coin to be able to sold. This is where the millions of coins come in each day. Just gotta pay attention to the market. Thanks for watching. Maybe check out one of these other videos next. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Visit my site, finallyhesleeps.com, for daily posts about FIFA Mobile and other various brain vomit. Plus, if you get really bored, you can find merchandise and my latest comedy album, Life Before the Internet, at the links below. Like, down at the bottom, those links.